Black History Month acknowledges the following mathematicians. Euphemia Lofton Haynes, Albert Franks Cox, Benjamin Banneker, and Valerie Thomas. On with Tab is here, give you knowledge and cheer. Teaching is what I do, motivated to inspire you. Learning can be fun for our daughters and sons. Let's have fun to explore, receive the knowledge to open doors. Fun with Tab is the one. Learning can be fun. Learning is the key to make a better society. Hey, 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 it's Fun with Tab. And as you know, February is Black History Month. And today, I'm going to do a two-part series on mathematicians and inventors. Just to let you know that math is a very important concept. And even way back then, when everything was going against black folks, they realized that there was nothing that will stop them. And so for all the young people today, don't give up because math is a very important concept that we use every day. So today I'm going to acknowledge not one, not two, not three, but four mathematicians that made a way for us today. And they never gave up. So that is the message for all you young people people today, don't give up because it can be done. You can do it. So today I want to acknowledge Euphemia Lofton Hayes. Oh, this sister was something special. Do you know why she was so special? Because she was the first African American woman to receive a Ph.D. in mathematics in 1943. Now, that was way before uh, Fun With Tad was born. But even then, the sister was smart. And she, made, she also worked at the District of Columbia College as a professor. So, to Euphemia Lofton Hayes, I salute you representing black women back then and made a, and was a pioneer for all future African American women. Now, Euphemia Lofton Hayes was the first African American woman to receive a PhD. But guess what? There was a first African American man that received a PhD in mathematics. And his name was Albert Frank Cox. Not only was he the first African American male to receive a PhD in math in the United States, but he was the first African American male to receive a PhD, a PhD in the entire world in 1925. So to you, Mr. Albert Frank Cox, I salute you as well because you were the first African-American male to receive a PhD in mathematics. Congratulations and a job well done. done. You thought Albert Frank, Frank Cox was a, was a very inspirational African-American male for receiving a PhD. But did you also know there was another great genius back then? And his name was Benjamin Banneker. He was born on November the 9th, 1731. And he died on October the 9th, 1806. And he was a self educated African-American male, and he was also a free African-American male back in the day when slavery was uh, highly populated. He was a free black, 
He was a self-educated man in math and astronomy. Not only in math and astronomy, but also he was a surveyor, and he was also a farmer, and he taught himself math and astronomy. So for you to be able to self-teach yourself in math and astronomy, Mr. Benjamin Banneker, I double salute you because you excellent, you were excellent in your day and you was a motivation way back then for our generation today. Good job, Mr. Benjamin Banneker. Mm. Now, the last person I want to talk to today in our part one of part two series of mathematicians is a very important and very useful scientist and mathematician. Her name is Valerie Thomas and she was born in 1943 and she's still alive. She's still doing her thing in math and science and she was an inventor. She invented the the illusion transmitter, which are very important in video games and movies that we see in 3D. So this system way back then was creating 3D movies and 3D video games when it was just coming into um, in existence. So I also like to salute you, Miss. Valerie Thomas for being the pioneer of video games, 3D video games, and 3D video uh, movies by inventing the illusion transmitter. A job well done, my sister. Great job. I hope you enjoyed part one of the part two of Black Mathematicians. See you on the next episode.